Nami's biological father revealed. Now before I begin, I just want to say that this is very out there. Probably one of the most out there One Piece series you will ever hear. And it doesn't have a lot of evidence, but it has enough to make me think it's worth making a video about. So, the basis of the theory is a line by Vivi regarding Hanami predicting a cyclone in One Piece chapter 130. There should be a manga, a manga panel on screen as I talk about this. But so Vivi's line pretty much talks about how what if a cyclone on the Grand Line should be impossible to impossible to predict. And that Nami isn't just predicting the weather based on weather forecast theory. She's actually predicting it naturally. Like she just knows what's going to happen. As if in some way you could argue it's a highly advanced form of observation hockey. But that's not what I think it is. I think it is a talent she inherited from her biological father. But who is her father? <laughs> well let's get into that. Because that's the crazy part. I believe Nami's biological father was the navigator of the Roger Pirates. Now, I know what you're all thinking right now, that's insane, and I agree, it is crazy, but think about it. Nami's ability is, de is definitely not a form of observation hockey in my opinion, Mo mostly due to the fact that if it was a form of observation hockey, there's like a highly advanced level of it, you would assume someone like, really like, one of the Kaido crew members or somebody must more skilled than Nami would be able to use it. Also, Nami does not know how to use observation hockey. You could argue she's using it subconsciously, like when Luffy knew King hockey during the war, subconsciously. He also used observation hockey as well during the war to dodge Mihawk's flash. But the point is, is that I just don't think she's doing that. Because honestly, because her skill to predict the weather is so advanced and so much better than every other navigator in the series that we have seen, it pretty much makes it blatantly impossible for it to be hockey because she had no skill in it. You could not be that good at something that you were doing subconsciously. You, you can't. That Luffy proved that when he used the King's hockey during the war, and when he takes out the Marine, it is not nearly as effective as it was on Fifth Man Island. Why? Because he was doing it subconsciously. So, the thing is, is that Nami's father being the navigator of the Roger Pirates makes logical sense because that would mean just a like a family and how it is trained. Kind of like a Keke Genkai from Naruto. It's a trait or a talent that is inherited through bloodlines. And so Nami just naturally had this ability because her dad had it. And it would also explain how where Roger got found the navigator skilled enough to get him to Rattel. But let's move on to how I think this could have transpired, like how Nami could have ended up where she was in the beginning of the series. Now, we know for a fact that the government is afraid of Roger. We know that for a fact. And you would think they would also be afraid of a man that knew that could actually navigate to that island. Because with, if you were to like go to like Whitebeard, this guy could literally have just walked Whitebeard to Rastel. Like, Roger's navigator could just walk him there, so they would obviously be pretty afraid of him, too. Because they're, of course, afraid of the One Piece. So it is very possible that he had to abandon his, uh, his newly born child on an island in the East Blue. This, this way, there was a possibility of her not being captured by the government. Because, let's be honest, the government had proven if you're connected to a criminal, you deserve to die. Well, that's not... You know, that they would they, they would kill anybody that was a descendant of one of, of the Roger Pirates. They would kill anybody. And what I want to go into now is what a quirk, how what a quirk would happen. So, his, her father would have, would, after she would, you know, after her, her mother gave birth to her, her father would just dump her on an island in the East Blue. This island would be an island where a battle between Marines and Pirates would later break out. And this island would, of course, be the island where she would be found by Nojiko, and then brought and found by Bellamere and rescued. And then you guys know the rest of what happened. Bellamere brings it back to the island, the docks them with her daughters, blah, blah, blah. We, knew, we, we watched Arlon Park. We know what happened. But the point is, is that this would really fill in the gap. Because I've always wondered, Nami Dizui does it. I don't think it's hockey, and I explained why. So, what else could it be? Because this has been a plot point in, what, 
two, one movie and what? One arc? Yeah, it was a plot point in Arlon Park and a plot point in Strong World. And no, it wasn't a plot point in Taipei. And Aru was just a weirdo. But no, but it was a plot point in a movie and an arc. And you have to also remember, Shiki himself acknowledged her skill in navigation. Now, the canonicity of Strong World is debatable. But Shiki felt fighting around the same level of Roger, not fighting on par with him by any means. But Shiki being able to keep up with Roger and actually, you know, somewhat hold his own against him, that it confirmed because he had the guts to do it. So, meaning that if Shiki is complimenting your skill, that really means something. Especially because Shiki is a lot more powerful than he appeared to be in that movie. But that is beside the point. But yeah, so I do believe Nami's biological father is the navigator of the Roger Pirate. I cannot tell you the name of the character, of course, because we had no information on the Roger Pirate beside for like three members. Not, of course, unless you're including Crockett, Buggy, and Shank, but it's obviously not those three. We had no information on their navigator. Also, another thing I would just like to add on to this is that Nami has always had something more than just the ability to predict the weather. She also has a great understanding of how it works that is above no like the normal capacity of a normal person. And the reason I point this out is mainly because you look at Nami in any fight she has had, if, it w if you took away her like weather knowledge, she could not have won the fight. And her level of knowledge is highly advanced. And this was before her training on Wetteria. Before her training with on Wetteria, she was able to figure out how to create thunder like a thunderbolt out of like certain mechanicals or like the heat balls and the cool balls and create new cyclone tempo in Alabasta. Uh, it's like it's just very complex thing and it's like a very complex level of understanding that I really feel you would need a certain level of talent, like natural talent to be able to do. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on my theory in the comment section down below. And remember guys, to have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.